நாட்டிக்கோழி ரசம் ஃபென்டாஸ்டிக் ட்ரம் ஸ்டிக் சில்லி நாட்டி ஸ்டைல் சில்லி சிக்கன் சிக்கன் சத்ரிய கபாப் சிக்கன் சத்ரியா கபாப் is a crunch of the batter hmm that's a rather flavorful batter that's holding on to the chicken mutton nalli fry hmm that's a piece of meat that's extremely soft and pliable chicken biryani mutton biryani the mutton biryani So this is certainly a biryani whose flavors will remind you more of the aromatic spices. Mm. You know what's interesting here is that in terms of color I'm told the ingredients are the same but the rice of that chicken tonne biryani is a little lighter as opposed to the mutton tonne biryani. Mm. There's also a tinge of sweetness somewhere that I'm tasting. I don't know if it's a character of the fennel or perhaps a star anise, but there's a lovely juxtaposition of that very mild sweetness against the warmth that comes from the spices. Being born and brought up in Bangalore, we love Adoni biryani. But what always pricked us was why isn't there a brand in the organized sector which has uh. popularized this particular biryani? pan india so now that lid of that patre comes out i yeah, love the manner in which chicken masala is now bubbling away huh? almost as if inviting that rice that jeera sambar rice to join the party so what's unique about the jeera sambar rice it completely takes the characteristic of the biryani masala In addition to the biryani, these are also some of the other dishes. Yeah, this is the nati style chili chicken. Okay. This is the mutton chops. Okay. And this is the uh, nati koli roast. So people come here to R N R for what? For the biryani or? So essentially, it's the biryani. Okay. Yeah, and uh, of course, uh, some of our very popular dishes are uh, in terms of starters uh, is the drumstick chili. Drumstick chili. Yeah, that's super unique. Well, drumstick uh, is one of my favorite yes, vegetables. Yes, and the chili chicken, of course, is a Bangalore favorite, but uh, we have a nati style twist to it. So we're not just tasting the biryani, but also three or four other things. not for me but for you just so that you get an idea of the flavors that are in store for you here at rnr namaskara this is your menu well we've just emerged from the kitchen after watching the making of the biryani and on the way out i also saw a few other dishes that i think could be interesting nati koli rasam i think let's try the rasam yes, and let's also try the drumstick chili we will do the nati style chili chicken ha mutton nalli fry nodide adu on kodi idu eno chicken chatriya kebab chicken kebab okay let's try that also and then we'll try the two biryanis ini kelidri new dessert ha dessert sir after eating all this i'll need dessert yes sir you try sir ha huh? well I don't know when I'll be next at R N R, so why not? Don't recommend Madura. Then the special Elnir paisa mide, coconut paisa. Ah, Elnir paisa. I think that'll be nice to cool things down after okay. that big meal. Well, so out here at R N R, uh, Donne biryani. Whilst of course the star is the Donne biryani, but there's plenty on the menu that I see that can keep you happily occupied. Of course, I've ordered most of the dishes non-vegetarian. But if you're a vegetarian, we're tasting the drumstick chili, of course. But there's also things like the mushroom ghee roast. There's some pepper dry. There's some baby corn pudina. Some paneer ghee roast, etc. But I think the stars here are definitely the meaty items. I think the vegetarian dishes are more for, let's say, you are a table of four and there's one vegetarian in the party. Well, then there's enough to keep him or her happily occupied. Nadi koli rasam, fantastic. It's nice to begin things with something hot and warming, and that's what this rasam is about. So this is a piece of the nadi chicken or the country chicken on the bone, and you can also see some of the skin 
on it. The flavor in chicken, as I have mentioned a hundred times perhaps, each time I've tasted chicken, is in the skin. But before we get to that, I want to taste some of that soup, some of that rasam all by itself. Ah, I can definitely taste the tang of the tomato in that rasam. This is a rasam that's rather sprightly. You can also taste the coriander in that right away. Oh, it's a tasty rasam. There's also a bit of the warmth that I'm tasting from the pepper. And now for some of that nati koli. Mmm, certainly is quite hot. Steaming away and the skin quite gently dissolves on your palate. And certainly there are some that is quite warming. I think if you were to have this on a cold evening, it's the sort that will clear your sinuses, but in a tasty, flavorful sort of way. I think that has just set the tone for some of the other dishes that will follow. Well, the plate is here, so which means my appetizers are going to come. Yes, huh? sure. What's your name? My name is Putraj, sir. Putraj. Putraj, I forgot to ask, uh, what is RNR? RNR means uh, Ramaswamy and Ravi Chandra, sir. Okay. It's name of the grandfather and uh, father name of the or, uh, director. Ah, so that is what RNR stands for. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Very tasty. Hai. I'm sure there's also the lentils in that to give it a bit of body, but not too much. What you're tasting in that is the goodness of that chicken bone broth. The twang of the tomato, loads of pepper that probably go into it, and the fresh herbaceousness of the coriander. So good. I can also taste somewhere a bit of the aromatic warmth that comes from the heart spices. Drumstick chili. So when they told me they had a drumstick chili, I was quite intrigued because I've never tasted a drumstick chili. And this seems to be that typical local chili sort of preparation. But instead of the chicken, you have the drumstick. Thank you. And some jelly sauce. Yeah, some sauce. There's plenty of the green chili that I'm seeing in that. And also some of the chili seeds. I know this is going to be a slightly spicy preparation. And what I'm dreading though, is the fact that I have to suck the drumstick kernels. So along with that, I'm also going to be sucking on the heat of that green chili. So I better brace myself. That country chicken rasam was warming, but I think this is going to be that spice bomb. Mm. You know what's interesting here is that there is that heat of that green chili that I'm tasting definitely has some of that sauce and some of the kernels of the drumstick slither down. But because that drumstick kernel is quite pulpy and has its own moistness, that helps to a certain extent cut down the effect of that green chili. What makes this dish also interesting is the fact that the drumstick is tender. Sometimes when the drumstick is over mature, then it's too fibrous. You're not really getting the moist pop of the kernels. But out here, the drumstick is, if I use the Kannada word correctly, healthy there. It is tender. And therefore, you're tasting that moistness in that drumstick kernel. Mm. Not as spicy, not as fiery as I feared it would be. Nati style chili chicken, sir. Ah, Nati style chili chicken. Chicken Shatriya kebab, sir. Chicken Shatriya kebab, fantastic. Well, we've tasted the chili drumstick, but I think it's time to move on next to that Shatriya kebab. This is a deep fried kebab. So the chicken is dipped in a batter, I suppose, and then fried. There's a crunch of the batter. Hmm. That's a rather flavorful batter that's holding on to the chicken. And quite crunchy at that. Hmm. So this isn't your typical chicken kebab. It's your chicken kebab, but where the crunch factor is probably multiplied 2x thanks to that batter. So almost like a cross between a typical 
regular chicken kebab and perhaps something like a fried chicken that you would taste in one of the fast food places but in a very local style of masala i think i'm going to go for some more of that what's nice here is the flavor of that masala there's plenty of turmeric that goes into it as well it's nice to see that it's not like a typical chicken kebab which is stained red with the chili and of course a bit of the color that goes in out but out here it's basically the color of the natural ingredients so i think there's plenty of turmeric that goes into it and also of course some of the color that comes from the red chili mm i like the crunch of that batter and then that juiciness mutton nalli fry fantastic thank you i think this uh, shatriya chicken kebab is also something that kids will enjoy it's not spicy in the least it's got that crunch that playful crunch that you bite into and then the juiciness of that chicken hmm it's almost like i'm crunching into a cookie but a chicken cookie on the bone Well now for some of that nalli that nalli fry mm, I can definitely taste the flavor of some of the garam masala that goes into that mm, That's a piece of meat that's extremely soft and pliable what I'm tasting here in terms of flavors are also the assertiveness of the garam masala mm Let's see if we get lucky with some of that marrow. I think the marrow has mostly rendered into that gravy. And that's the reason why you have a bit of a stickiness on your fingers. Let's see if we can get lucky with a bigger piece of that nalli mule. What I want to taste is just the pristine flavors of that meat of the mamsa. Hmm. But more importantly. that nalli mm. the piece of meat on the smaller bone was a lot softer and of the texture that slid off the bone rather easily but the marrow in that larger mule was a sort that was quite ready to be slurped by me some chili chicken I think out here again it's a chili chicken so you're expecting you're bracing yourself for the heat of the green chili but you don't really have much of that what you're tasting really is a gentle flavor of the chicken i'm sure there's also a bit of thickening that goes into that sauce and that probably also helps cut a bit of that chili flavor there is the heat of the green chili but very gentle at that but more the vegetable flavors that you taste of the capsicum there's also a tinge of acidity that it is somewhere perhaps from a drizzle of lime that goes on top of that chili chicken as it's being finished you know i couldn't taste that chili then but now i'm beginning to register the chili i think that's a very deceptive naughty style chili chicken initially when i bit into it i couldn't really taste too much of the chili I could taste more of the gentle flavors that come from the chicken a little bit of the vegetable notes of that capsicum but ibaka as that sauce has held on to my tongue I can now taste a bit of the heat and the reason why this is called a naughty style chili chicken so getting back to the dishes that I tasted well to me my clear favorite was that naughty koli rasam I enjoyed it I think that drumstick in that chili sauce too was rather interesting i think if you love drumstick and you want to taste something different definitely taste that i enjoyed the mutton especially that smaller piece which was very tender that chatriya chicken is interesting there's a certain crunch to it along with the juiciness and that naughty style chili chicken is the sort whose spiciness creeps up on you rather gradually well it's time now to taste the biryani Thank you very much. And therefore we have a fresh plate. Of course, the salads remain a bit of fiber is always nice when you have plenty of meat. Chicken biryani sir. Chicken biryani. Mutton biryani. The mutton biryani. Rice sir. Some mosuru bhaji, sherwa. Sherwa sir. 
Well, this is what lends R N R Biryani its name, the Donne Biryanis. So, therefore, of course, it is served in a Donne. For those not in the know, Donne Biryani refers to the Donne or the cup, that leaf cup. So, that Donne is basically a vessel of any sort. Donne also refers to a boat. Which is a vessel, in a manner of speaking, and it is in that donne that the biryani is served to the customer, and therefore, traditionally, it's called the donne biryani. Donne biryani is go back in Nama Bengaluru, Nama Karnataka, over decades, in fact, over a century. And though not too many people outside the state may know about it, it certainly is a very popular biryani tradition here in Nama Karnataka. And what really attracted me to R N R donne biryani was the fact that their vision is to take this donne biryani. not just across bengaluru not just across karnataka but beyond the borders of this state chicken first ah one motte the aroma of that spices that biryani is still warm the rice feels moist warm to the touch hmm and definitely the flavor of that spice mix that biryani spice that's gone into it i can also taste somewhere now a bit of the acidity that comes from the lime i think every donne biryani has its own style there are some donne biryanis where the flavor of the green masala beat in the coriander the mint or maybe the fenugreek will take precedence on your palate and there are some biryanis where it's more about the hard spices when it comes to this biryani i think it's mostly the hard spices what goes into that biryani spice mix that is quite apparent that is quite assertive on the palate and also initially when they flavor the oil there's plenty of the hard spices that go into it like this uh, piece of cinnamon that i see right here so this is certainly a biryani whose flavors will remind you more of the aromatic spices mm and now for some of that chicken that piece of meat is moist cooked all the way through hmm while the rice is quite punchy in the flavor of the biryani masala that chicken is quite gentle quite demure in the flavors that it registers and therefore i think this is a biryani where the rice and the meat go hand in hand hmm what the chicken also does is absorbs some of the punchiness of that garam masala of the spice mix and therefore the flavors are not as assertive but a little rounded hmm somewhere in there i'm also now registering the flavor of the cloves and if you want some cooling respite well that's where that mosuru bhaji comes into play This is certainly a biryani that is quite punchy in the warmth of the spice mix that registers on your palate. But let's see what that spice mix has done to that mutton donne biryani. Ah, you know what's interesting here is that in terms of color, I'm told the ingredients are the same, but the rice of that chicken donne biryani is a little lighter. as opposed to the mutton donne biryani the color of the mutton donne biryani is a little deeper the masala is the same i don't know if that's a character of the meat that lends to that color how many pieces of this thing come four pieces four pieces chicken four pieces, four pieces. and how much is this priced 349 349 mutton biryani chicken biryani 269 269 fantastic and i think portion wise is a sort that is good enough to probably feed a couple of people hmm same masala but the flavors that you taste in that mutton donne biryani rice entirely different i think it's the character of the meat and the fat that gives the spices a certain roundedness so if you're let's say a chicken biryani eater and you don't eat a mutton biryani i would implore you at least to taste the rice because chicken by itself as a meat does not have much to bring to that mix so therefore for instance in the chicken biryani i could taste the full on punch of that spice mix but out here in the mutton donne biryani the flavors are certainly well rounded mm there's also a tinge of sweetness somewhere that i'm tasting i don't know if it's a character of the fennel or perhaps a star anise but there's a lovely juxtaposition of that very mild sweetness against the warmth that comes from the spices mm when the flavors are deep the sort that linger on your palate let's taste now with some of that mutton 
there's a bit of charbi that's clinging onto the meat which is always a good thing in my books now for some meat with the rice mm I know those of you watching it will say that I'm always biased towards the mutton biryani but I must tell you in my defense the first time when I tasted I tasted both the chicken and the mutton biryani and I quite enjoyed them the last time around just a couple of weeks ago as I was mulling doing some research on RNR and deciding if I want to shoot here or not I tasted only the chicken biryani and I quite enjoyed that but what happens is when you taste the chicken biryani and then you follow it soon with that mutton biryani it's very difficult for that chicken to stand on its feeble legs as opposed to the four strong limbs of the lamb of the curry the first piece of meat that i tasted was sitting on the top so it was exposed to the air but this piece of meat on the inside is quite moist quite juicy mm. i think portion wise also is a sort that's good enough i think each biryani pot can probably feed two people also have the motte if you want to share that too and of course when you come here you'll probably uh, before the biryani you will probably have one of the soups or perhaps one or two of the starters so between two people i think one biryani and a couple of starters and a soup does the job we'll taste a bit of that chicken dhone biryani rice i'm going deep into that bowl just so that i get the warm rice and also some of that mutton dhone biryani rice It's nice that it's still steaming away although the biryani the mutton biryani was prepared prior to the chicken biryani let's taste that chicken biryani mm. definitely the punchy flavors of the garam masala right at the beginning right at the outset that's what you're tasting mm. this a lot rounded and that's nothing but the character of the meat so the flavor of mutton rice is very different yes sir preparing a friend only uh oh, yes. but masala everything is the same everything is same and both the biryanis are nice if you're a chicken lover you will like the chicken biryani if you're a mutton lover well you'll want more of it so what do people prefer here chicken ah mutton i told you yes, it's a mutton donne biryani that rules here at rnr But there's also the sherwa here. You know me; I rarely reach for the sherwa because, to me, I'm a simple man. I'm quite happy with the flavors that I find in that biryani. But our friend here said, "Please try some of the sherwa too." Hmm. You know, when it comes to food, it's like you're always discovering new things. Now, for instance, personally, I found that kick of the biryani spice mix in this quite dominant. but somehow that sherwa which by itself has a bunch of ingredients that go into it quite aromatic there's a little bit of heat but what that sherwa does especially to that chicken biryani rice hmm very interestingly helps round off some of those flavors so i think when you are enjoying the chicken donne biryani you can go for some of the sherwa but i think if you're tasting that mutton donne biryani rice personally i would go for it as is crystal roll well after all the warming effect that the biryanis and the appetizers have had on my tummy they said they had some elnir paisam so i said okay that i will certainly try but they said they also have something else made of pumpkin that they recommended i try that is a pumpkin i think the pumpkin has been candied in some sugar yes sir and that's what gives it that transparent crystal. crystalline sort of form and texture there is plenty of cream in that and some nuts ah huh? yes sir and yes. some varak on top almonds are there yes sir mm this is quite interesting to be honest i was not looking forward to it too much but that pumpkin certainly has an interesting crunch it's not too sweet it almost has a texture like that of a petha but this of course is our local humble pumpkin so the caramel could i either really yes caramel could certainly a very interesting sort of a dessert in that crystal roll i'm also tasting the soft bite 
or some reduced milk solids. Then mildly sweet crunch of that uh, candied pumpkin and inside the creaminess, the softness of the cream, a bit of the soft bite of the milk solids and then the crunch of the caramel and some toasted almonds. Well, from that uh, crystal roll to this Yelnir Paisam. Mm. That Yelnir Paisam is very comforting, very gentle. I thought this wasn't too sweet at all, but this is very mild. In fact, this is probably 2x the sweetness of this. What I like here are the flecks of tender coconut. Very gentle, very cooling. And just a sort of refreshing end that you want to a big, meaty biryani meal. In my fingers, I can smell the aroma, the fragrance of that biryani masala. So when you come to RNR, well, it's a story that began with the biryani. And therefore, it follows that the biryani is the star act here. Whether you want a chicken done biryani or my favorite that mutton done biryani, I think you'll be happy with either choice depending on if you're a chicken or a mutton lover. The appetizers too are the sort that complement your meal experience here. So if you're looking to taste a done biryani, a Karnataka style done biryani, but a very homely recipe at that, Definitely find your way to one of the RNR restaurants. There's one in Jayanagar, we are sitting here in RT Nagar. But if you can make it to the restaurant, well, don't worry. There are about 18 kitchens across Bengaluru that you can order from. I hope you've enjoyed this meaty biryani episode of Gourmet on the Road. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong, and happy eating. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!